Tonight, I have the opportunity of a lifetime as I face off against John Teller for the ECPW Heavyweight Championship. Now, John thinks he's gonna walk into the ring and steamroll right through me. He won't because tonight, I'm bringing the fight to John Teller. I'm gonna drop him on his head and I will spear the hell out of him and become the new ECPW Heavyweight Champion. Yo, how you doing everyone? Attilio April back in the ECPW Adrenaline TV house again today. Joined once again by my broadcast partner. Prince, Prince Akhenaten. Akhenaten. What okay. is it? Um, a loss for words? Well, Did everybody call out today? No Cheyenne, no Joey G. I'm stuck with Steampunk. Sorry Whatever that you stuck with me, Prince. Yeah, all right. But today we have the returning Guapo Grande. Ooh, that sounds delicious. It does, doesn't it? Oh, it's a wrestler? Oh my goodness, no. And the creatures of the lab would be in action today. Big Bad Blake and Dr. Leroy Vankman against Generoso Lugosi and Dirtbag Dan. That's but be the big match tonight, the main event, the my heavyweight... friend, the heavyweight champion, John Tella. It's the John Tella era. Well, cut that me off again, why, but why don't you? Good lucky I don't put you under this table. The John Teller era continues against Sami Nazir, the Arabian Dream. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have Dr. Leroy Bankman and his monster, the 501 pound Big Bad Blake. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are, the Creek, Generoso Lugosi and Dirtbag Dan, the Dirtologist. Now I know Dirtbag Dan is holding uh, Roberta, He's, I'm very acquainted with that leg, uh, but does, uh, does Generoso's friend I believe he calls it his car lock. His car lock. His car lock. And the ECBW fans. I'm just hoping that that's not what I think it is all over the back of his trunks. I'm glad they changed the shirts on ECBW security. Now it just says staff. Because they're more of an infection than security. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Prince oh, Akhenaten no, said it's not, not me. I mean, I just feel bad for referee Rudy, uh, who has to be in between all of this in the ring right now. Well, you know, inflation and all that made the referee strike happen. I mean, at least one of the, the competitors in this, at least one, one of the competitors in this match are definitely inflated. <laughs> well, Blake might be three of the competitors in this match. In fact, I heard Matt Lynch, the ring announcer, say that the lab is a combined weight of 619 pounds. That's got to be at least 80% weight. It has to be. Well, it looks like Dirtbag Dan has an uphill battle starting like out. Uh, Dirtbag Dan is being hugged by the Kool-Aid man. It, it, it almost looked like Dirt, I mean, like Blake was daring Lugosi to tag himself in. Well, you said you felt bad for Rudy, the referee. I feel bad for Dirt Bad Dan. I feel bad for Generoso Lugosi. I feel bad for anyone in that ring who's not Blake and who's not the doctor. I mean, if, if it was you in this position, what would you do to try and take Blake down? Well, I was a tag. I had a tag partner, Tristan, who was almost as big as Blake, and that was my strategy. As you recall, him and Tim and Tamir are not the tag team champions. They're not even talking right now. They're cousins. Wow! Right through that double close. Oh! Wow! Absolute destruction. The <laughs> genetically modified Mack truck. The doctor tagging in now. Oh my! 
Oh, bad romance. I would say so. I mean, oh, oh a that? quick thumb to the eye. He's got the gloves. Those gloves might be loaded. What do you think that is on the doctor's face? Uh, soot, fire, brimstone. What do you think that is on Dirtbag Dan's face? Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to say that on TV. I think we call it an Attilio. But speaking of which, Dirtbag Dan just grabbed a shoe from a fan and is now dressing Roberta with said shoe. Well, that's much better than helping your tag partner. And right now, Generoso Lugosi is just being worked over Ooh. here. Ooh, right big the kick. Of the back. Now, of course, being a man of science, I'm sure the doctor knows exactly what back muscles he hit. I'm just going to say the small of the back. I'm not a doctor. I just play one on TV. Do you really? No. Uh, Dr. Vankman, oh, successfully executes a vertical suplex. Well, that's a leverage, as he says. Oh, oh wow. Dirtbag Dan uh, taking a break from Roberta to break up the pin and then accosting the, some would say, good doctor. I wouldn't quite say that myself. It didn't accost him nothing. He, uh, he's getting paid for us. I think. <laughs> well, it looks like the doctor's going to go for another. Oh, wait, there it goes. More leverage. Generosa Lugosi fighting back, giving some firm butt. Oh! Creates a little bit of distance with the jawbreaker. Oh! Drop kick right there to the doctor. I know you've been hit with your fair share of those. What does that feel like? Well, a drop kick from Generosa Lugosi is just dirty, too. Think about where this guy was. Oh! It looks like he went for the big one but came up short. Oh, the doctor shoving Dirtbag Dan down, right to the ground, now laying the boots to Lugosi. And now it's over. I hope those guys had their fun, because now the match is over. Big bad Blake, oh, and he's taking off the gloves. Services will be rendered at Cozzarelli Stream. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, there's another one. Those, in the chest. Those big mitts of big bad play. Oh! Threw him clean across the ring! He almost threw him in the Route 46. Jerry! 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 Gary? Gary! Well, whoever it is, Generoso. Oof! Two, three, four, five. See, Blake is the numbers guy, he's the math guy, and Dr. Venkman, he's the science guy. You have a balanced cur curriculum here in ECBW, and in this match, Generoso and Dirtbag are in detention. It looks like Big Bad Blake is calling it here. It looks like he's going to go with the intent to end this match now. Oh, missed the big leg drop. Well, that would have been curtains for Generoso to go see had that leg drop connected. I think Big Bad Blake just assumed that the doctor had the upper hand there. Oh! Well, you know what they say when you assume it tends to hurt people's feelings. Oh! Nice there's suplex some from Dirtbag Dan. I mean, I, I would say that that's a clean suplex, but clearly there's nothing clean about Dirtbag Dan. Nothing clean about this match at all. Oh no! What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, it's a hockey fight. Oh. Oh, they're gonna lay in those slaps and those chops. And the referee just kind of letting this happen. One in and one out, ref. Come on, now you're taking liberties. A man of science should not stand for this. The, both Dirtbag Dan and Generoso Lugosi are just laying in the punishment. Oh, no! She hit the doctor. Big Bad Blake looks devastated. It's very rare that we see the monster Big Bad Blake reeling like that. But both competitors are just launching those elbows directly into him. Capitalizing. This is what you gotta do when you got... Oh, they're set up. I think this is gonna be there. The doctor looks just out of it. 
This is a new signature move. I think we're gonna see it here, ladies and gentlemen. The Double cannibals! Oh, both competitors looks like they're going up to the top. And we know that this is comfortable territory for both of them. Nothing about this is comfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. I'm gonna have to agree. Oh! Oh! Oh, both competitors managing to kick out. I'm surprised Big Bad Blake kicked out. But He's got the constitution of several farm animals tied together. But the doctor, that's some resilience. That's some power of science stuff. It makes you think what's in those chemicals that he creates in the lab. Well, it's, well, Big A, what's in the chemicals in any of these wrestlers? Oh, come on now. Oh, wow. Big Bad Blake just sending Dirtbag Dan right out of the ring, and now Generoso Lugosi is by himself. Oh, big scientific slam right there. Oh, here he goes. 501 pounds! Devastating! The crowd is very vocal here tonight. They really don't like Buddy Thomas. I don't think we can even really talk over this crowd and their hatred of beautiful Buddy Thomas. Scouting, Big A. I'm scouting. And meanwhile, Guapo looks like a whole scout meeting. He looks like a whole scout troop. It looks like he ate the whole scout troop. Well, you know, when he goes camping as a scout troop, the bears hide their food in the trees. Now, this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Not too indifferent from what we saw a couple weeks ago with Pete Nixon and Johnny Till. This match Magic looks like a beer. perfect 10 to me. Bloody Thomas is the one, Guapo's the zero. I see what you did there. I mean, definitely as far... That ref needs a hug after the night. Uh, definitely as far as the power game goes, it has to go to Grande Guapo. Uh, is that a parachute he's wearing? It, I, I mean, I think it has to be. Again, the whole crowd chanting their disdain for Buddy Thomas. You know, I, I think that Buddy Thomas needs to work on the lower body of, of Guapo Grande. He looks very top heavy. If you can get him teetering, he'll go down. <laughs> what are you measuring him at Victoria's Secret? Top heavy? Come on now. Ooh. Well, there's a heavy top we were talking about. That 
fact about Guapo Grande, his lower body is a lot cooler than his upper body because it's always in the shade. That was definitely Buddy Thomas running into a brick wall right there. Oh, there it is again. Sends him reeling out of the ring. Did he say eat a Chevy? Well, that I was mean, our sponsors. I mean, I, I would... Oh! A big disrespectful slap there. Oh, hangman off the top. Oh, pulls the big man right out from under. Like I said, if you can get those legs, he'll fall right down. You know, you seem to have all these good strategies, Big A. Why don't you ever incorporate any of them into your matches? Wow. Well, maybe I'll get the chance if I get to step in the ring with you. Sure. Get in line, kid. But now, something that I didn't expect to see in this match Guapo on the floor. And now he's back up. Oh, drop kick right to the face. It looks like it didn't really phase him too much. Oh, big drop kick, and Guapo spilled the guaco. Guapo spilled the what? The guaco. You know, guacamole, the guaco. Don't quit your day job, whatever that is. Buddy Tom I think Buddy Thomas just disrespected by Guapo Grande. Oh, my. Oh, he sprayed him with the atomizer. He sprayed him with the atomizer. Buddy Thomas going up top. Oh, missile drop kick. Again, right to the face. And now Buddy Thomas spilt the Guapo. Gotta be it. Guapo can't see, and he ate the feet. And it leads to defeat. With apologies to Tony Atlas. It leads to defeat of Guapo Grande. Is Buddy just walking off? It looks like he took some nasty. Oh, looks like Buddy Thomas is uh, bleeding a little bit there. The nose has been busted open. The referees outside checking on Buddy Thomas, I making sure he's failed, okay. We have a new canvas, PCPW. Somebody's gonna get busted open. Wow. I mean, beautiful Buddy Thomas isn't looking so beautiful no more. But that 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 is looking bad out there. It looks like he's just gonna take the count out. And just like that, Guapo Grande is your winner. Sammy Nazir making his way into the ring. Possibly one of the more unique, newer competitors in ECPW. He's been around about two years now, and he's certainly proven himself. Well, Sammy Nazir is the uncrowned rookie of the year for the year 2020. And you know what happened in 2020? A lot happened in 2020. Well, here he is, our heavyweight champion. Whether you like him or not, John Teller. Now, I think that John Tell is going into this match thinking that Sami Nazir is going to be a cakewalk for him. But having been in the ring with the man myself, Sami Nazir packs a hell of a punch. I remember that match. Isn't that match where you fell over, like in the middle of the match and wound up on a stretcher? And then you went into the, they took the stretcher into the back and you hopped up at catering like nothing happened. There, there was a lot that, that happened that night. Yes, I did get hurt, but big A. And that's where you're wrong, Big A. You see, Tella is confident. Some may even argue overconfident. 
but he doesn't take any challenges lightly. That's why he's still the champion. And that's why he knows he's the best in East Coast Pro Wrestling at this given time. I'm, I'm not denying the ability and talent of John Tella. But the one thing that overshadows well, but, 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 but the one thing the one thing that overshadows all I hate bullies. And Tella is nothing but a bully. Well, you can call him a bully, but bully's gonna bull. And this bully is the bullet of the woods, if you will. And Sammy is gonna get the horns tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the first lockup, both competitors vying for dominance in the ring right now. Sammy Nazir utilizing his speed in this contest. Well, enjoy it while you can, because when you trade wrist locks with John Tella, and you certainly can, John Tella can obviously wrestle, but eventually this is going to become a fight, and that's where the champion excels. Well, so far we have a pretty scientific matchup, both competitors exchanging locks, you know, back and forth. Right now, as far as a technical level, it seems relatively square. John Tella with the obvious edge. Here is you. I'm trying to watch a wrestling match here, and you're boring these fans. Well, at, at the very least, you're the first person who didn't say I was around, so thank you for that. Oh! oh. John Tella, tell, you know, reading that. Now we're getting away from the wrist locks. We're getting away from the chaining wrestling, if you will. This is where John Tella shines the most when the match devolves into just a fight. Oof. Oh! He just started lighting up Sammy this year. Oh! Sammy is the uncrowned rookie of the year for 2020. 2020 was two years ago, kid. It's over. It's over when John Tella gets through with you. Oh! A thunderous chop right to the chest. Launching an elbow right into the corner and a shoot off. And a steam. Oh, there's Sammy Nazir utilizing his speed and a quick arm drag. There's another one. Sammy Nazir shooting Tella off and a reversal. Oh, he went for it up and over, but oh, there's a German suplex. The problem there is Sammy didn't commit. He didn't see Tella behind him. He felt like, I don't have to do this up and over. John Tella's not near me. So he kind of went up. He should have not went up at all. He could have turned around, popped Tella in the face. Instead, he got a German suplex. More is lost through indecision and wrong decision. John Tella going for a cover, but only a count of one. Oh, a thunderous club right to the upper back. Oh, what's John Tella setting up for here? Oh! Right in the ribs of Sammy Nazir. And Sammy Nazir, you know, that's a big bad leg a bunch of times. Those ribs are already kind of powdered. <laughs> John Tella just, t at this point now, toying with Sammy Nazir. He just wants to hurt the man. Well, wouldn't you? I mean, sorry, I was looking right at you. That's what made me say that. <laughs> but John Tella has a job to do. Whoa. Oh, Sammy Nazir just managing to get out of the way. Oh, big, big forearm sending John Tella out of the ring. Sammy Nazir needs to start laying in some damage as quickly and hard as possible. Oh, big DDT. Tella, Tella managing to get the foot on the rope. And that may show some of the inexperience of Sammy Nazir not making sure that John Tella wasn't in reach of the ropes. But Sammy Nazir looks like he's setting up for that spear of his. That is a devastating maneuver delivered by that man. Oh, knee right to the jaw. John Tella now launching shot after shot. Oh, right in the mush. I don't think Sammy Nazir knows where he is anymore. Sammy Nazir getting a kick out at two. Frustration is starting to show on the face of the champion. You know, like like I said earlier, I think Sammy Nazir is going to prove to be a little tougher than John Tella thought. But again, oh, Sammy Nazir sliding out. Kidney shot. Oh! 
rip cords him from the back. Oh, that's not a bad strategy. Oh, a Russian leg sweep. Oh, there's the senton. All the weight right in the sternum. Could have knocked the wind right out of John Tella. And that almost three could have been proof of that. If someone would knock the wind out of you, my eyebrows are melting over here. I mean, I would love to, to, to see you give it a shot. But Sammy Nazir setting up again, setting up again. Oh, knee in the face, what are you doing? There it is! He speared the hell out of him! Cover him, what are you waiting for? Come on, Sammy, no, no, come on! You're wasting too much time. It, you know, Sammy Nazir is trying to prove a point here, like and I'm hoping. Dream in that, in your dreams, are you going to win this title? I'm hoping this doesn't backfire. There's a set, the second one right there. Cover him. What are you doing? No, you Sammy, idiot. no! Don't get overconfident. Don't get overconfident. This, this is going to be what costs him if he can't land this third spear. Whether or not John Teller can get up. The fans get in your head, Sammy. They don't even shower every day. Why are you listening to that? One more time. One more time. One more time. John Teller leapfrogging right over. Oh, Absolute destruction. 14 A. Teller gets off. Sammy Nazir got over Ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible week of action we just saw. That, that heavyweight title match was... You're at a loss for words, as always. So let me bring it home for you. My dear good friend, John Teller, still the ECBW heavyweight champion, the creatures of the lab running wild. And I will say, for Big A and the cult classic Prince Akhenaten, Garden from the So Long State. I, I mean, Prince, I think you mean in the words of Gino Caruso, so long from the Garden State. I did it right the first time. All right.